The first major event after we arrived in Madrid is a big pro-Palestinian rally. It happened right across the street from our hotel. Thousands of people participated, some chanting from the river to the sea, some holding signs as Stop Israel Genocide, and some signs as USA the Super Terror from our hotel window. My righteous anger was aroused, and I kept praying again and again. I declared Psalm 2 and thank the Lord for putting me in the right place and the right time for intercession. How many they are. The event is disturbing but not unique. It is the result of long term anti Semitism by UN. But Spain has its own political problems. The Catalan independence from Spain has lasted more than a decade. Catalonia is an autonomous region in Spain's northeast with its own language, history, parliament, police force, flag, and anthem. In 2019, nine pro-independence leaders were sentenced to jail for 9 to 13 years followed by huge protest and student strikes. It's picked with 525,000 people on the streets of Barcelona. Saturday afternoon, we visited the Anthropology Museum, which contains many items from Spain's former colony. Sedina, the Inuit goddess of sea, Achina dolls, intermediaries between Hopi people and their deities. These masks represent different spirits from Argentina and other South America regions. The Day of the Dead in Mexico, the offering table and the figures represent death. All these are detectable to our holy God. Gary spent a whole afternoon in Prado Museum, a famous 500-year-old painting by Bosch, The Garden of Earthly Delight. As you can see, the three panels from left to right depict the Garden of Eden, the present world, and hell. To many, the painting served as a dire warning on the perils of life's temptations. Outside the museum, street artists and many painting vendors displayed their products, but it looks like the business is not hot yet. Spain's economy has recovered some from the COVID period, but the Russia-Ukraine war reversed its growth. The Royal Palace of Madrid is the largest in Europe. It has 1.5 million square feet and over 3,000 rooms. It consists of residential rooms for royal family members and throne rooms and the sections of treasures, galleries, libraries, and armories. This is the statue of Christopher Columbus. He is seen as holding a royal flag and a globe and the robes used on ships was next to his feet. There are many gods and goddesses. Sibylle, the goddess of earth. Neptune, god of the sea. Apollo represent light. Triton, half man, half fish. Venus, goddess of love and beauty. Minera, goddess of wisdom and courage. Diana, huntress in the heavens. Chimerous, goat body, snake tail, and lion face. 
Sphinx, a woman, lion, and the eagle combination. From the infamous Inquisition to the modern day blindly embracing other gods, Spain seems couldn't get the faith matter right. Madrid has lots of parks and gardens. Royal Botanic Garden has more than 5,000 species of live plants. My favorite is always palm tree, which reminds me Jesus' of triumphant entry into Jerusalem. The clouds shouted, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Spaniards love soccer. Their national team won FIFA World Cup in 2010. San Diego Stadium is the second largest in Spain, with a capacity of nearly 85,000 fans.